mercy and rebuke me. But let not the oil of the sinner anoint my head. They shall hear my words, for they have been written. As a cloud of earth is broken upon the ground, so have their bones been scattered before the mouths of ladies. Give me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks of them that work iniquity. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried. With my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou viewest my pathways. I looked upon my right and watched, but there was none that knew me. I have cried out unto the Lord. I said, Thou art my hope. Thou art my portion in the land of the living. Deliver me from them that are persecuting me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may give thanks to your name. Possessing victory over Hades, O Christ, since you are free among the dead, you ascended the cross, praising with yourself those who sat in chains of death, drawing life from your light, O Almighty Savior, have mercy on us. The righteous will surround me, for he will deal bountifully with me. Today Christ tramples on Thou shines forth in all the world. 
From the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. Like the patriarch Jacob of old, our holy father Jacob fled from the comfort of his life and was granted a vision. A ladder from heaven appeared in the wilds of Alaska that the people might ascend to God with patience and love and the labor of many years. He obtained the, the lodge longed for pride, the holy church of Christ shining forth in his native land. Therefore we cry aloud to him, O Holy Father Jacob, entreat the Lord for us, that our souls may be saved. O the Lord, there is mercy and forgiveness from peace redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. The Holy Prophet Moses raised up a tabernacle on Mount Horeb, and there he spoke with God face to face as one might speak with a friend. The righteous Jacob pitched a tent in the Alaskan wilderness, where he celebrated the mysteries of Christ for the sanctification of the faithful. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. Born on the remote island of Mecca, you were called to become a witness to Christ, not by the glorious path of martyrdom, but by humbly accepting the divine call to enter the holy priesthood, preaching, healing, consoling, praying to God and tending your flock for forty years in the Alaskan wilderness. Whose mercy is abundant toward us and the truth of the Lord endures forever. As a missionary teacher of the Atkin Sure, it is. 
wisdom aright. O grant the light of the holy glory of the immortal, heavenly, holy, blessed Father, O Jesus Christ. Now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and Jesus Christ is coming in flesh is from God. 
But if your spirit who does not confess Jesus Christ as having come in the flesh does not think of it, then this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and is already in the world. You are of God, dear children, and you have overcome these people, because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. You came out of the world, therefore we speak according to the spirit of the world, and the world listens to you. We are of God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not of God does not listen to us. By this we can discern the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Wisdom, the readings from the first Catholic epistle of St. John. Let us be attentive. If someone says, I love God, and yet hates his brother or sister, such a person is a liar. If someone does not love the brother who can, who can be seen, how can such a person claim to love God whom he has not seen? Indeed, this is the commandment we have received from him that the one who loves God should also love his brethren. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ who is born of God, and whoever loves the Father also loves the one who is born of the Father. By this we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and keeping his commandments. Truly this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. Everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who overcomes the world? It is, is it not the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Let us say with our soul, with our mind, let us say. Transgressions, let us 
Now yeah. and never and unto the ages of ages, amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visiting you our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The angelic powers were at your tomb. The gods became as dead
only our joy. O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every night will I bless thee and praise thy name, forever and forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I say, Lord, be merciful to me and heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto those who know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, that we may be kept this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorify his name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise. Unto thee is due a song. Unto thee is due glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all men.
corruption of illness raise me up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and at the ever and unto ages of ages of the Lord. Amen.
the temple among the teachers of the law. We shall establish its fairy to end with him who vanquishes the cross, crucifixion, and death of thy son, God. Rejoice thou who after such times was radiantly brightened by the resurrection of sweetest Jesus on the third day. Rejoice thou who didst behold the ascension of thy son, God, in heavenly glory. Rejoice thou who together with the disciples of the Lord did receive from him the Holy Spirit, which was sent down, set down on the upper room in the fall of fiery tombs. Rejoice thou that didst go with the angel of light. Rejoice thou that didst surpass in purity and holiness all the angelic orders and all the choirs of the saints. Rejoice thou who thou art now confided with glory by the coming of thy, to thee of thy Son and God. Rejoice thou that didst entrust thy soul into his great hands. Rejoice thou that the glory of was taken up bodily into heaven. Rejoice thou that didst appear to the God beholding the apostles on the third day with divine praise. Rejoice thou that art crowned in the heavens by the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit for the diadem of the eternal kingdom. Rejoice thou that hast been enthroned in glory beneath the throne of the all holy kingdom. Rejoice thou that the kingdom of God is reconciled with man. Rejoice thee ruling over kings heavenly and earthly. Rejoice for nothing is impossible for thine intercession. Rejoice for all that cling to thee in faith are saved. Rejoice for by thee the dead may find consolation, the hungry gain, the afflicted find rest. I then pray thee, O most useful of grace, extinguish in me a sinful sorrow, and grant me the joy of thy of salvation, consoling tears, constant compassion, true repentance, and perfect correction. Despise me not, O mistress, but mercifully receive these joyful cries offered to thee by me the poor one. And come thou to my aid at the time of my restlessness, for that terrible hour when my soul will be parted from my first body. Come then, I pray, to my aid, and deliver me from the guilty of sin, from the eternal punishment, that I have here thought of guilty deeds and feared for the folly of them all. Nay, my mistress, permit, permit, permit not my soul to see the terrible and fearsome threat and torment of the demons prepared for sinners. But do not go before me and save thy, me thy servant in that terrible hour, that I may glorify thee into the ages, my only hope and the fortress of my salvation. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to God, as is true. It is true. It is true. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of
Lord of mercy, 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 Gospel, 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 O Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worship and glorified, O Christ our God, long suffering, greatly merciful, and deeply compassionate, who lovest the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who calls all men to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Do thou the same, Lord, accept also our prayers in this hour and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, guide right our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from every affliction, evil, and sickness. Help us as taught by holy angels, that guard and guided by their legions, we may attain the dignity of faith and the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou into the age of ages. Amen. O Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement thou givest birth to God the Word, through fear the first we magnify in the name of the Lord, Father, and bless. Through the first holy cause which is Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. O sovereign lady, bride of God, Spotless, undefiled, incorrupt, most pure, and chaste virgin, who has united God the Word to mankind through thy most glorious birth giving, and also has joined the fallen nature of our race to heavenly things, who alone art the hope of the hopeless, the aid of the battle, the living help to them that flee unto thee, and the refuge of all the Christians. Despise not me, a defiled sinner, even though I have made myself altogether useless through impure thoughts, words, and deeds, and through my slothful understanding, have become a slave to the sweet things of this life. As a mother of God who loves mankind, have pity on me, a sinner and prodigal. In that same love for mankind, and accept my prayer, though it be offered to thee by defiled lips, and using thy holiness as a mother, pray to thy Son, our Master and Lord, that he may open even unto me the goodness of his deep love of man for mankind, and overlook my countless transgressions. Turn me to repentance and reveal me to be an experienced accomplish, accomplisher of his commandments. And as thou art merciful, compassionate, and benevolent, stand by me always in this present life as my fervent intercessor and helper, driving away the assaults of enemies and guiding me to salvation. And at the time of my departure from this life, care for my wretched soul and drive far away from it the dark forms of evil demons and the fearful day of judgment. Deliver me from eternal torments and present me as an heir of the infallible glory, glory of thy Son and our God. May I receive this, O my sovereign lady, most of all, if you talk us, through thy mediation and help, through the grace and love for mankind, of thine only begotten Son, our Lord, the God and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom is due all glory, honor, and worship, together with his Father, who is without beginning, and with most of all, good and mighty in his kingdom, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you, Father, so much for your wonderful pursuit. I close at the body and soul. 
and keep us from the dark seeds of sin, and from every dark and passionate pleasure of the night. So through the impulses of the passions and quench the flame of errors of the evil one, which are deceitfully used against us. So Lord, allow me to my flesh and put to sleep all earthly and material reasons. And grant us, O God, a watchful mind, a chaste thoughts, a sober heart, and a light sleep, free from every fantasy of Satan. Raise us up at the time of prayer, confirmed in our commandments, and with the memory of thy judgments, hold firmly to us. Grant that we may glorify thee all through the night, that we may sing and bless and glorify thee, most honorable and majestic King, the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most glorious ever Virgin, Mother of Christ our God, hear our prayer to the Father, to what thy Son and our God, that through thee we may save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge is the Son, my protection is the Holy Spirit, O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, our hope, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he who is risen from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most true mother, who though been with God, very fathers, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and the love of humankind. Bless. Holy brothers and sisters, forgive me a sinner wherein I have sinned this day, indeed, word, thought, and all my senses. <clears throat> Through his grace, may God forgive and have mercy and so on. Let us pray for our Metropolitan Tequan, our Archbishop Alexander, and for our brother clergyman Christ. For the government of our country, our president, also with authorities in our forces. For those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. For those who are kind to us and serve us. Lord, have mercy. For those who ask us to pray for them unworthy though we be. Lord, have mercy. For those who are enduring persecution for the of captives. Lord, have mercy. For our departed fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air. Lord, for those who are lying in sickness, Lord, have mercy. let us pray for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, Lord, have mercy. and for every orthodox Christian soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us bless pious leaders of nations, Lord, have mercy. orthodox hierarchs in the town of this holy monastic habitation, Lord, have mercy. our ancestors, our parents. All our fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters and friends, departed this life before us, who are here in all the world, I see the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us also say for ourselves, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the prayers of Holy Father, we express our God, have mercy upon us. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. For laying aside all excuse, we sinners offer to thee as to our master, the supplication of mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, Holy Spirit. O Lord, have mercy on us, for in thee have we put our trust. Do not be angry with us, nor remember our iniquities. But look down on us even now, as thou art compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies, for thou art our God, and we are thy people. We are all the work of thy hands, and we call on thy name. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. O blessed Theotokos, open the doors of compassion to us, whose hope is in thee that we may not perish, but we live from adversity as we be. For thou art the salvation of Christian people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, our Savior, who by thy prophet Nathan didst grant remission of his sins to the friend of David, and is accept the printed prayer of Manasseh, do thou thyself and the customary love of humankind. Accept these thy servants who repent of the sins they have committed, overlooking all that they have done, forgiving their unrighteousness and passing by their transgressions. For thou, O Lord, hast said, I do not desire the death of sinners, but that they turn from their way and live, and that sin shall be forgiven, even to seventy times seven. For as thy majesty is incomparable, so is thy mercy immeasurable. For if thou shouldst mark iniquities, who should stand? For thou art the God of those who repent, and to thee we send up glory, through the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord O Master and Lord, lover of humankind, hearken to us for entreating your grace for these your servants, and as the great and merciful one overlook all their transgressions and deliver them for eternal torment. 
For you have said, O Master, whatsoever we shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever we shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. For you only are without sin, and to you do we send up glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, children, Christ invisibly stands here to hear your confession. Do not be ashamed, neither be afraid, nor hide anything from me. Rather, fear not to tell me all that you have done, so that you may receive forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, his icon is before us, and I am only the witness, that I may bear witness before him of all you tell me. If you hide anything from me, you shall have the greater sin. Take heed, therefore, that having come to the place of position, you do not depart unhealed. And now, to the best of your ability, search your hearts, your souls, your minds, your consciences for anything you may have done that's displeased the Lord. Anything you may have done that was contrary to his commandments. Anything you may have done that caused offense to him or grieved the Holy Spirit, grieved your guardian angel or your, or your patron saint. Be sorry also for things left undone that could have been done for God's glory, lost opportunities for shining with the light of Christ in this dark world. Concerning all these things, you are bound henceforth to take care, since according to the Christian mystery of repentance, you are to be baptized for the second baptism. And God helping you, you must make a good beginning and a new fresh start. And above all, you must not take these things lightly or return to the same things, lest you become a cause of scorn to men. For this is not becoming to Christians, but live honorably, righteously, devoutly, and may God help you by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord God, the salvation of your servants who are merciful, compassionate, and long-suffering, who repent concerning our evil deeds, who do not desire the death of a sinner, but that you should turn from the way you live. Do you yourself now be merciful to your servants, and grant them an image of repentance, pardon, and remission of sins, forgiving them every transgression, whether committed voluntarily or involuntarily. Reconcile and unite them to your holy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom is due to you power and majesty, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, by the grace and compassion of his love for humankind, forgive you, my children, all your transgressions, and I, as an unworthy priest, who is power given to me, forgive you and absolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Son.